Hello everybody and welcome to this video. My name's Harkness and today we're going to be taking a look at Left 4 Dead 2 and seeing if we can get it working in virtual reality using the Vorpex program. Okay, let's see what we can do. Okay, so I'm launching this game on my desktop first and I've set it as 1280 by 1024 as Vorpex recommends and I've put it in a, into window mode as well. I've also turned down some other settings and I've disabled uh, vertical sync so that it doesn't cap my frame rate. Let's quit the game now. Start your Oculus app now. And we can also start our Vorpex app. We don't need to do anything in Vorpex, so as long as it's running, just make sure it's running. Go into Steam or wherever you've got your game installed and click play. Once the game loads, press the middle mouse button so you can actually see all the menus and click play campaign. What is this? Play online, play with friends. Is there no campaign? Ah, here we go, single player. Great. Great, start game. Okay, I'm just going to sort out some settings now. Until I enable the mirroring, you're not going to be able to see this, so just bear with me. Okay, great. So now when I go into my Vorpex menus, you guys can see everything. So I'm going to open up my Vorpex menu now using my delete key. And I'm going to go over to the direct VR settings, which is... Here we go. Direct VR settings. And I'm going to choose this one right here. Awesome. It's uh, altered my field of view as well. Okay, great. So there's still a few settings I'm going to uh, need to edit because it's not as good as I like it to be. So I'm going to open up my menu again and check out the main settings page. Okay, I've pretty much got it running perfectly now, guys. This is incredible. It's like a VR game. Wow. Not like the other Vorpex titles at all. I want to shoot this guy in the head. Oh, I, I can't. I don't know how. Oh well. So I'll open up my settings now. I've had a chance to mess around with them and get them running good. And I'll just show you what I've got here. Let's go to the main settings first. The main settings I've chosen Z Adaptive. My 3D strength is 1. My depth weighting near far is 0.5. Depth of field on. My image settings, everything is normal on here. Um, I sharpened it to 2.00. Just makes everything look so much more crisp. I like it like that, and I think you you will too. Image zoom is on one, well, 0 0.94. Um, aspect ratio correction, pixel 1.1. One, one. Now, run your direct VR scan as soon as you get into the game, and this will uh, adjust your field of view and everything else, and your head tracking and whatnot. And it will basically set some of the settings for you. Not all of them, just some of them. And that's it, guys. I actually want to try and have a little bit of gameplay now here. I am recording, so it will stutter. My apologies for that. Oh, my gun works now. Okay, sorry, we're back now. Um, sorry about that crash. It seems I uh, exited the game with my mouse. Oh, well. Oh, hell no. Peekaboo! Whoa! <laughs> Die! <laughs> this is so fun. I'm going to play this a bit without recording so I don't get a little bit of lag. But I think I'm actually going to play that one fully because that worked strangely well, guys. Um, there's moments in the game when you, you switch to over to your uh, like a third-person camera angle. Just put my Oculus down. And um, uh, it's kind of like uh, the VR games that you get on the Oculus um, where you can like look around and, s and see all around the character in the third person. Thanks for checking out this video guys, I hope you've enjoyed it and that you've all found it helpful and that you've been able to get the game running just like me in virtual reality perfectly. That was really impressive, it really works great with the Vorpex app. Uh, I didn't expect it to, um, to work that good but it did. As long as you run the VR scanner inside uh, using the delete key in the menu in the Vorpex menu, just run that and it'll set ma main, mainly everything up and then just take a look at my settings, um, try and match them as a base for you to start editing your own settings for your own comfort.
If you liked it, give me a like, drop me a comment below. I always love to know what's going on with everyone. If you have any special requests or recommendations, let me know below and I'll try and get a video up for you ASAP. Make sure you subscribe too because I'm working my way through a huge list of games for the Vorpex driver and there's some really great stuff coming up. Peace out guys.